بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I have to say that there have been more and more messages coming to me uh, from people across the world who unfortunately for whatever reason want to commit suicide they tell me they say look life's just too much for me to bear I need to I need to do this, I need to just end my life. And it's a serious matter. I mean, why are more and more suicidal cases coming in through the Western world? What's the, what's the deal? Why? Why are we getting... I mean, we do get suicidal cases from the Eastern side of the world, but for different reasons. I think here on this side, I mean, if you think about it, people are committing suicide because they can't pay their debts, and people are committing suicide because... They just think that people don't like them anymore. People are committing suicide because they think they're being blackmailed for something. People commit suicide for all sorts of reasons. Sometimes maybe even failing exams, they want to commit suicide. Sometimes because um, they don't have many friends. And sometimes they do have loads of friends on social media, but they feel, still feel like committing suicide. Why? Because they feel lonely inside. They want to commit suicide. The thing is, look, if you're one of those or you know someone, the way to reach out to these people first is, they themselves have created a problem that they are, own, that they are the owners of. Please remember this. If you listen to this, and you ever felt like committing suicide, you need to know that you are the owner, you're the owner of the very things inside your head. You created all of it. Now think carefully. The negative thoughts that you've got, the horrible feelings that you've got about the people that you're dealing with or the situation you, you find yourself in, it's all in your own making. Yes, it is horrible, but maybe not as horrible as it really is. Okay, this is, the, this is the difference. If it's a rainy day outside, you could either feel, oh, it's just rainy. Okay, people, you know, people have rainy days all the, all the time. It's just rainy, that's it. You could feel horrible about it. Oh my God. It's rainy. I'm going to go to get wet. You could feel devastated if you want. Oh my God. My, I'm going to, you know, my, my coat's going to get wet. My hat's going to get wet. My socks are going to get wet. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to feel, I'm going to maybe catch a cold. I might even get pneumonia. I mean, if you start thinking like that, then you've just, the same rain that has been seen by four or five different people in different ways, you can make it as worse as you want, or as good as you want, all in your mind. Or perhaps you could do this. You could say, it's raining, so what? It's raining. Yeah, it rains. Just go out there, it's fine. You'll be fine. And if you say to yourself, you know what, it's raining? Wonderful. Yeah, bit of rahmah from Allah Azza wa Jal, you know? Bit of rahmah coming down? Fine, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Allah wants, wants it to rain, it's raining. It's raining? Oh, mashallah, you're going to get, you know, all these plants and trees and life that needs water. You know what? We all need water, so you feel good about it. Oh, it's raining? I can go and dance in the rain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? You can make whatever you want in your mind. What I'm trying to say to you, brother or sister, is suicide, why? Because the level of negativity you brought inside you, you're the creator of that. The density, the whole, you know, maximization of how bad you feel, it's still inside your head. You can minimize it. So you need to work on minimizing it. You need to first seriously talk to someone. Talk to someone. Someone you care, someone who's close, someone who won't judge you, fine. Or even if they're going to judge you, it doesn't matter. Talk to them. Tell them about your feelings. And tell them how you actually feel inside and how you want how you want someone to understand you. One of the problems with people who want to commit suicide is they feel they haven't been understood by anyone. They feel no one cares for them. That's another major factor. No one cares for them. You know what? If you actually talk to people, they would want you alive than to see you dead. And if you don't reach out to anyone, you'll probably end up doing something horrible to yourself. And the hadith is there. That if you actually commit suicide, you will unfortunately be in a lot of pain after your suicidal incident than to be before that. What it means is that the hadith says very clearly that if you do that, you have violated a massive part of what Allah has told you to do. Now, if it gets really unbearable, what are you supposed to do? Is there anything in Islam you're supposed to do? Yes, there is. The Prophet ﷺ said, 
that if you really need to end, you know, think of ending your life, then you say this dua. That's all you do. You don't end your life, but you say this dua. You say, Allahumma, ma kanat al hayatu khayran li. Oh Allah, as long as life is good for me, fa'ahyini, make me live. Make me live happily. Make me live nicely. وَإِذَا كَانَتِ الْوَفَاتُ خَيْرًا لِي When death is best for me, فَتَوَفَّنِي Then take me away. غَيْرَ You know, without any, غَيْرْ مُخْزِيٍ وَلَا فَاضِحْ Without, you know, causing me any disgrace, without making me feel sad about myself, or, or completely ashamed, or lost everything. No, take me in the best way. So you say to Allah, Allah, as long as life is good for me, make me live. When it's best for me to go, then make me go in the best way. Remain positive. And the last thing I'm going to say to you is, all the things that are happening to you, please assess them one by one with people, real people you know, and try and, try and get really good feelings about yourself. Positive things in your life. Concentrate on them. You will snap yourself out of it. Positive things in your life. Carry on thinking about them. And inshallah, with the help of Allah, you will move away from your suicidal thoughts. And inshallah, you can, you, you can put yourself in better condition. Jazakum khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Safar curriculum covers all the Islamic educational needs of young Muslims today in a fun, simple and engaging way. Tried and tested for over 15 years at one of the UK's leading maktabs. The curriculum has been adopted by hundreds of institutions around the world and makes your child's journey in seeking knowledge easy, meaningful and dynamic. This innovative and comprehensive curriculum covers Quran and Tajweed, Islamic studies, du'as and surahs, as well as Arabic in an integrated and structured way. Visit safarpublications.org to find out more.